The family living room doubles up as Samuel Zilla's workshop, and this is where the magic happens, a little village in the central highlands of Kenya. Zilla's robots are made from found material, from discarded toys to electronics. I started back in primary school, where I used to make little things, electronics like uh, radios, uh, phones, repairing them. Uh, in the society, people used to bring those radios, and I used to repair them. Zilla is just 21 years old. He finished high school two years ago, but despite his talent, he couldn't afford to go to university. Instead, he set up his workshop to pursue his passion for technology. He has several projects going on at the same time, many of them as yet unfinished. Zilla has built three robots so far, each with a different function. The little one is called uh, Robot Peg. Uh, basically, I made it uh, when I thought of uh, how people are struggling, maybe cutting pegs uh, and the others even cutting them using their mouth. So I thought of why can't I make something that would be cutting pegs all over when maybe you are uh, washing clothes or doing other things. Here we have Alpha, named after Zilla's friend who's currently a student. And as far as gender goes, Alpha is a she. The third creation, Zilla Max, is a workshop's main attraction, though. Half the size of a human and with wheels that give it limited motion. In addition to small household tasks, all three robots are programmed to teach language. This is how you say hello in Chinese. Try it. Ni hao. Okay. Zilla's robots are not quite the high-tech creations you'll find at the world's top robotics manufacturers. He still has a long way to go. We hope he can find a school where he can learn more because he only knows what he has taught himself. But with every new creation, Zilla is one step closer to attaining his goals. In coming years, this young innovator hopes to make an impact by acquiring the skills that he needs to come up with innovative solutions that will help make the work of everyday people easier. Wilkisanyabwa CGTN in Nyeri, Kenya.